What is up, everybody? This is Marshall Couture, also known as Plex in Hip Hop Circles, and this is 100 Days of Making Comics. How are you guys doing today? I am doing all right. I'm gonna fire up Pro Photoshop. Hopefully, <clears throat> Hopefully this screen share thing works. I'm just uh, going to do a little kind of live sketching, I guess. And uh, I'm learning how to draw children. <laughs> so um, I had to do some Googling of things that, you know, hopefully won't, wouldn't get me on the radar of, like, stuff. Because, like, it's weird. Like, I'm Googling, like, um, children or like you know to get image image references and like googling like um, you know nine-year-old girl because I have a character who's a nine-year-old girl so it's like you know I gotta learn how to draw children but you know that might look weird you know I mean I, I'm sure it doesn't matter like if there was ever like an issue which there should never be um, you know they just uh, realize I'm an artist and I'm trying to draw characters <laughs> but it's just weird like the stuff you have to look up you know being an artist or a writer hopefully I got some music in the background hopefully that's not too loud um, so I got some reference pictures and my computer's going really slow um, there's one that I thought I got and I don't see it on the desktop uh, let's see. Uh, trying to live stream and do some digital drawing at the same time probably isn't the best idea. I thought it would be a good idea because that way I could, uh, I guess one of the pictures didn't come through and it was probably the best one too. So let me see if I can go back. See, I Googled nine-year-old girl. <clears throat> but there's, yeah, right here, like full body shots. So this can help me to draw little kids. But the only thing is they're stretching, which is probably not the best. Maybe there's another one. Like, oh, well, these are little, little kids. I mean, I want to learn how to draw all different ages. But uh, trying to focus on the more in the nine-year-old range at the moment. You know, and I kind of want full body part, uh, shots or whatever, because, you know, I'll just go with what I got, because I'm not going to make, this isn't going to be like a super long video, maybe 20 minutes or so. All right, so hopefully you can see everything. We got the, and what I'm going to do is literally just kind of trace some things. Mm -mm -mm. Excuse me, wow, Photoshop takes forever. Mm -mm -mm. So yeah, I was looking up some tutorials and stuff, um, watched some stuff on character design from Jake Parker from svslearn.com, um, and just been sketching all morning today. And uh, I figured I would uh, kind of do a little of that today. You know what I should have done is just open up a new file, close this out, file, new, and 300, eight and a half by 11. And what if we go like 11 by 11? Digital, it doesn't have to be. I um, probably won't even save this. 8-bit, what's up with that, yo? How about 16-bit? 
I don't know. I, I don't know what the settings should be. I'm trying to learn that stuff now. I know I run into issues sometimes when I go 32-bit. All right, so now let's drop, drag and drop this picture in here. Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. I don't know why I have vanilla ice lines in my head. And this looks like a really small image. It's not going to work anyways. I mean, it's okay if it's a little blurry, but this is kind of ridiculous. It's kind of cool, though. It's got that 8-bit thing. All right, so I'm going to not use that. Sorry it's taking so long. So I was looking that up. Oh, it's not actually so bad, but I'm going to delete it anyways because it's all out of proportion now. And that's the whole point is to learn the proportions of children's. Uh, I guess I'll just go simpler. And um, so, yeah. Yeah, the, another um, tutorial place that I like to look at is um, Art a la carte. It's uh, this this uh, lady, and I can't remember her. I don't know what her name is. I just kind of know her as Art a la carte on YouTube. Um, she's, you know, she's not necessarily like, you know, I don't know. If you come, it depends on what kind of art you like. I don't know, but... Um, you know, she's kind of does cutesy art stuff, basically, which I think is totally cool. Um, all right, let's blow this up. And uh, all right, so, you know, she's, She's cool though because she teaches um <sighs> smart object must be rasterized before proceeding. Edit contents will no longer be available rasterizing the smart object. Oops. Command Z Z. Okay, there we go. All right, I want to bring the opacity down. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm still trying to figure this stuff out. All right. So what I want to do is just start to figure out the uh, proportions a bit. So, um, yeah, I like her um, videos because... Um, They show like a simple kind of way to oh, I know what's happening. Okay. I need a new layer. So they show like a simple way to do things um, like tutorials and so so um, you know even though maybe I'm a, more advanced than the way you know she's teaching to a very like basic level usually So it, I actually like that though, like, because to me, to me, that's helpful, you know? 
so I know this looks like really bad, but um, I'm literally just trying to see what the proportions look like. Um, as far as like from what I learned to like what actually is from photos. And it's kind of weird. So here we go, we're finally getting going here. <laughs> so one thing is obviously the head. Um, like the features are kind of, she actually drew like a square. She drew a square and was saying like the features are kind of squished into this and then you gotta make sure like you show plenty of like forehead because uh, you know, kids heads, that's kind of how they are. It's a collarbone. The necks are smaller. The um, the shoulders are not so wide as a as a um, like an adult, but at the same time, I think like in reality, they're wider than maybe you should draw them because, and this is kind of hard because. Um, you know, you don't want to, you want to draw them narrower probably when you're actually drawing a picture because I guess you want to like kind of exaggerate the proportions a little bit so it makes it look like a girl. Cause like if I were to draw with these proportions that I'm seeing here, I feel like I would end up with a girl that looks more like an adult, but if you exaggerate them, then and make them like sm certain aspects smaller then I think you get like something that looks more like what you're trying to get at does that make any sense sorry sorry for my voice too I've been it's kind of congested congested today um, when I woke up um, one thing that I seem to be having a little bit of issue with is the length I mean I, I even have a hard time with proportion anyways when it comes to you know adults um, But legs, for some reason, I'm having a hard time with. Feet, you know, I know people complain about feet, and I'm not saying I'm great at feet, but they don't, like, worry me too much. Because to me, I don't know, like, I don't get why people complain about them. It's just, it's actually, it's a somewhat simple shape. It's kind of like a triangle or maybe like a couple triangles put together. Um. But, you know, I guess I'm complaining about the legs, so who am I to say? But um, to me, it's like if you're an artist, you just start figuring out the shapes, you know. And really nothing should be really technically hard to draw, but I guess when it comes to actually doing what you're saying, it does end up getting more complicated than you expected, and things are hard to draw, so I don't know. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know, that's the proportion then, I guess, right there. Um, one thing they were saying, it's hard to tell with the dress, but there's the rib cage, which comes about halfway between this area and this area. And you do like an upside down frown. Obviously you gotta make it smaller then you would a 
um, an adult. And then the abdomen is there, but it's a little smaller on a young, a young, like just a child, nine year old type. So yeah, that's kind of some proportions. Let's turn off this layer and see kind of if it looks like a child proportion. See, it does, but I could also see that, like you were saying, almost look like an adult. I guess it's just that age, a nine-year-old, you know, is getting closer to adult. So let's see, what's the measurement here? Um, usually they go by the head. I always think this idea of measuring by the size of the head is weird. So I guess what I'm going to do is kind of create this little thing. And then I want to select that. That's not how I want to select it. <laughs> Come on. Quick selection tool. Okay, that's not the tool I want to use. Oh, this is the one I want to use. Okay. This might not be the best video, guys. Sorry. <laughs> so, can I do Command C, Command V, 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 V? <laughs> Hopefully that works. Wonder why I put it over there, though. Uh, it, things are never simple. <laughs> okay, so select something different now. I don't get it. I just want to duplicate this down here so I can see the measurements. Okay, so I got to be on the right layer. That's what it is. It's a little bit less intuitive than other programs, I guess, that I've used. Uh, and here's another layer. Uh, So I'll do one more layer. Um, and we'll do this there. So we got select, deselect. Let's just go to a different thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's about six heads tall. Um, so I guess let me try to kind of replicate that here and see what happens. Um, do I have the right thing? I want a new layer, I guess. So we got the neck and then the collarbone here. So the collarbone is like right around here, which I've seen people break that down before. And then the ribs, maybe they should be a little more right here than where I put them. Make sure I get that collarbone spot. Right there. And the width of the head. So I would say it's like two heads wide, maybe. 
I don't want to make like the shoulders too broad, like I was saying before. So here's the rib cage. I know I'm not I'm not trying to draw pretty here, guys. If <laughs> you're wondering why, like what the heck? Which you're probably not, because you guys know what's up. So the proportions, it, it, see, it's so confusing because the proportions don't really work out quite the way that, you know, they would, you know, in a tutorial they would tell you. In, but in real life, and of course everybody's got different body shapes, but I think this is a pretty typical nine-year-old um, girl body shape thing. So I don't know. I will say... It does look like the hips, like where the this thing is, the pelvis, I guess, where they stick out, that is right at half. So that's that's good to know. And then, you know, you can kind of go in from there. Now you know, on older women, older than children women, the hips go a little wide, but I guess supposedly they don't generally get too much wider than the shoulders. And then the elbows come down to almost half of this. And then let's see. I do one of these. And then the legs. The knees come about half of, so let me just put numbers. So they come about here, which is about half. So that's kind of what I thought, but, and it's kind of weird because it is, the shot I was taking is like an upshot, so it's a little bit, out of proportion, which is frustrating a little bit, but let's put that there, like the pad of the foot. So like right here, like the edge of the toes are at the bottom of the six, but that's kind of looking down at the toes. So it's a little bit out of proportion there, I guess, but I don't know, hopefully I can still figure it out, figure it out. And then the arms, okay, so the wrists. They come about half, maybe a little above half of number four there. And usually, so it's just above half of the thigh, or the leg, I should say, right? And then this comes here until you get to like a third of number six. And again, she was wearing a dress, so it's really hard to say how exactly the legs look. I know that's really thin. I'm trying not, it's a little girl. I'm not trying to make it all muscular, but you know, there are muscles there. I mean, not that I'm even coming close to having a finished drawing or even trying to 
Oh, I should be using the shift key too. Like I can make straight lines with the shift key. Probably would be easier. Can you, I wish we could make diagonal lines. If anybody knows of a shortcut to make straight lines that are all kinds of diagonals, let me know. No. Oh, that's the color picker, which I think, which I don't really know how to use. All right, so let's see. The eyes come to about, about half. So if I really just straight up divide this in half and then put the eyes in. And then, yeah, like they say, like, you kind of do one of these. So it's like eyes, nose, bottom, mouth, center. So, you know, you can kind of eyeball it, or I can kind of eyeball it. And the hair is always bigger, you know, than the actual head. So you got to make sure you draw a little over the head. For anybody, you know, I think. So yeah, I don't know. It's kind of there. And then, you know, there's always this triangle thing, which I think the triangle, does it go all the way down to that part or and then you do this too. Maybe it's supposed to be down to the hips. Because that makes a little more sense. Because then when you're drawing, um, when you're drawing uh, like gestures and stuff, you can kind of twist that and it twists at the hips. So, for example, let's see, we'll do this. And that, you know, so then, you know, you got that, that, that. This is really helpful to do it this way. I learned this from Psychra on YouTube, but I know it's a commonly used thing. And then you got, you know, obviously the pinch. And then the stretch here. And, uh, I don't know. And then, you know, this might be coming down here. See, and then how much, do, like, you got to draw, sometimes you got to just kind of forget about the proportions and draw, like, more intuitively, which is kind of how I always do. But if I don't know what the proportions are, I can't check it, you know, at another time. So, yeah, there we go. I don't know. So that's about it, guys. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, I guess um, maybe I'll take a screenshot real quick. Yeah, and then we'll be about done. I'm going to – this is what I've done for the day, though, is kind of learn how to draw children, and hopefully I'll get to some more drawing today. I'm going to – take a break and eat some food. I really want to check out that Voltron that's on Netflix, um, the, the uh, DreamWorks Voltron. It looks awesome, but I don't know if I'll actually do that or not. So, but that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, 
my if you want to find me anywhere marshmakesart.com marshmakesart and all the social medias hope you're having an awesome weekend and uh shout out to all the people doing the hundreds all the new people and all the um people who have been doing it for a while um you guys all rock you keep me inspired and i really thank you for the support um as i was kind of making this transition from writing to uh going into the concept phase and and now it's kind of weird because some of my you know this is more just learning how to draw but i'm kind of counting it as my hundred days some of this stuff because i'm learning how to draw things specifically going towards um creating my characters but i don't want to do too much of that because then i will be kind of missing the point of working on comics like am i really working on comics then you know so i think it's okay maybe a couple days or whatever to incorporate it within but i really need to get into more concept things so i think i will do some of that today um, as well so anyways thanks for watching guys and i will talk to you on the next episode peace out